everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python Dram. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much once again for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing lately. I truly do appreciate it. If you're new to the series and this is the first video you're checking out on the channel today, do consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on because unfortunately YouTube does a really poopy job of actually notifying people when videos go out. So hitting that bell icon is the best way to combat that that. And of course, my friends, if you do want to go one further, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or any of my Apex gaming PCs. Now, today's episode, we are going to finally get a pylon network set up. And well, to be honest, it should be very, very simple. A lot of you guys always say that if you just have the nurse and the arms dealer together in most biomes, you will indeed be able to get the pylon for that biome. So, we've got ourselves lots of things to do, my friends. We can get ourselves a beach pylon, a forest pylon, a jungle pylon, a uh, snow pylon. I don't think we could do that combination with the snow pylon. Uh, I don't know if we could do it at the hollow either. So I'd be kind of interested to see just how many pylons we can actually get. And of course, we haven't even started to consider the underground pylons yet. Obviously, the cavern pylon and the mushroom pylon are also ones that we can get. Let's get ourselves some glass. Let's get ourselves some stone bricks. And we are making the bases. It's going to be a lovely day, guys. I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's get this thing underway. Wait, you can make stone doors? Since when could you do that? Oh my goodness. Additions to 1.4. The humble stone door. Fantastic. <laughs> Most people would be excited about the new bosses, but nope, not this lad. He's uh, he's, he's freaking excited about a, a stone door. Yeah. And since our pickaxe power is increasing now, we should be able to like actually make a good amount of progress pretty quick in terms of the block swap. Because it uses the same pickaxe power as your most powerful pickaxe, right? So 130% pickaxe power means that we should be able to start replacing stone blocks with absolute ease, right? Yeah. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, oh, God. I said they'd be box houses, but here I am making an effort. Oh, God. Why do I do this to myself? Ah, okay. So it's only at the heavy workbench that you are able to make the stone doors. Okay. Noted. I feel like there's like a whole bunch of crafting recipes that I just flat out don't know yet in terms of building. I know that there's many, many new furniture sets, like for example, the spider furniture set, corruption furniture set, and that's not even taken into consideration all of the pillar furniture sets as well. Like there's a lot of stuff going on, my friends, a lot of stuff indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can put this thing to the test. So there's the nurse and no, there's the arms dealer, not the wizard. The wizard can live elsewhere for now, okay? But there we are, we've got the first house up and going. We'll probably go ahead and decorate these things a little bit better uh, later down the line. I do kind of want to see if I can, there we are. I think that looks a bit better. Or does it? Maybe we put the glass back in and have a look. Eh, nah. I kind of like the big window, actually. Yeah. All right. So once it becomes nighttime, that will be the point in which we can actually put this thing to the test. Benjamin the Clothier. No, not right. We need James the Clothier. We need Chippy on our world. Where is he, man? Oh, yeah, guys. We can go ahead and put our old clothes back on. That freaking time. Yeah. Look at me, dudes. Oh, I look like myself again. Right, I need to try and get a winter cape at some point. So, if all goes to plan, I'm pretty sure the arms dealer should be selling us, there it is, the desert pylon. Now, here's the thing. We only need to get one. You can only ever have one of each biome pylon, right? So, if we were to just, like, spread ourselves across the world, we literally just need this combination to buy ourselves the initial pylon. And then after that, you can have any two NPCs wherever the heck you want. So, yeah. When it actually comes down to it, this should be incredibly simple. Oh, cool. Pearlwood lanterns. Can't get this with many other wood furniture sets, can ya? All right. You know what? I actually really like that, so we'll put them up here as well. Yeah, a bit of an interesting block set we've gone for this time, but you know what? I think it works pretty well. So, the Pearlwood chair. Let's get that placed in. We need a three Pearlwood doors. One, two, three. One, 
two, and three. And then, of course, we need to get the little background walls in. And then I think we'll just about be done with this one. We'll move the nurse and the arms dealer into this one. And we shall see if we can get ourselves the things that we're looking for. All right, we'll go for a regular stone wall this time. There we are. All right, let's get these bad boys filled in. Uh, let's get right back to it. All right, baby, let's do it. House room is too small. Say what? Okay, that's news to me. How dare it be too small? That is against the law. All right, how about now? Too small? Oh, it's suitable now. Cool. All right, nursey, arms dealer. All right, let's go away and then come back. There we are. Are you going to sell me the halo pylon? Yeah! Cool! <laughs> oh, nice! The megaphone! Very nice! Well, it means we don't have to get it later down the line, do we? Cool! What was the ultimate accessory call for this bad boy again? I think it was the ank shield, right? Oh, man, it has been an absolute freaking age since I've built one of those bad boys. All right, well, a blue fairy. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, Where is my... Where is it? There it is. We're going to capture the fairy. Come in. Yeah, you can't get away from me, sunshine. Blue fairy jar. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. I kind of like that, actually. All right. So the door's going to go there, which means we could put that right there. And do you know what? We will do this. We're, we're going to do it. There you go. Blue fairy in a jar. That actually works out perfectly for the freaking locale, doesn't it? Yeah, everything's blue around here. I see. Yeah. Oh, snappers. All right. Well, we're starting to get ourselves a good supply of NPCs coming into our world now. Again. <laughs> My goodness. The NPC count is going crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Crazy. All right. Well, anyways, we're making like a tiny little attic for this little room. In fact, this could potentially be the pylon room. Ooh, I think it needs to be four blocks tall, though. So there we are. Nice and simple like. The tax collector is back in the world now. Hey, nice to see you again, buddy. I can't wait to periodically get loads and loads of coins from that guy. Hey, the tavern keep is here once again. Guys, look at how many NPCs we have. Holy mother. Okay, so according to the wiki, it is suggested that the mechanic... And the Goblin Tinkerer are, in fact, the uh, the little combination for this biome. So once it becomes nighttime again, we'll be able to see just what is going on. We should be able to get ourselves a snow pile on and get that bad boy placed right up here. And then everything is going to be fine. Uh-oh. We have a problem, guys. We may wind up... Oh, I don't know, man. It might actually be a better idea to... Uh, <laughs> So maybe go ahead and do the left-hand side ocean instead. I don't think it has much of a risk of being overcome. The corruption is all the way over here. So, yeah. Whoa. I have never, ever seen pearl wood walls before, but this is what they look like. Huh. Kind of looks cool. It would look very, very cool on like a barn-style build, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> Even now I'm trying out things from previous updates for the very first time. It's crazy. Absolute craziness. All right, well, let's get ourselves a couple of torches in here. Are these going to be counted? Suitable. Yeah. All right. All righty, guys. Just a few seconds away. And any second now, the blood moon is rising. Which means ain't no one going to be moving into any gosh darn freaking house. Oh, come on, dude. Are you serious? Oh, wait, do we... Oh, wait, they aren't even in here. Okay, boom. Uh, not valid housing. Wait, what? But they were valid before. What the devil? Why is there a freaking harpy here? Get out of here, you embarrassment. All right, boom, boom. Hello, buddy. Get out, get out. Go on. Why is this no longer valid? I do not understand. Wait a minute. I just came to the realization we don't actually need access to this room, do we? When you actually think about it. I don't think we're going to need it. I think we'll still be able to use the pylon just by standing here and right-clicking it, right? So that should all work. Oh my god, I've got way too much crud in my inventory. Again. <laughs> it keeps happening. Oh my goodness. All right, wait. That could go there. That can go there. And then what I wanted was maybe a couple of tiki torches or something. There we are. Do that. And then do that. And then this is valid, right? Not valid. Why? Let me guess. It's the freaking Tiki Torch. Let me guess. Not valid. What? Just... I, I don't get it. And now they're both suitable again. Simply because I moved the crafting table in the chair against the wall. Just 
Ow! I, I, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. What I do get is the fact that I need to get the hell out of here and then get those guys to spawn in. There we are. Rather like that. Oh, man. It'd be so cool if I could get a money trough, by the way. That'd be amazing. There's the ocean pylon. We done did it. And then we can place it in there. And look at that. We can still use it, even despite not having direct access to it. Hey! Hey, 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 Leave me NPCs alone, you sons of guns! Get out of here! Go! Come on, baby. Into the... Oh, goodness me. Hello there, Mr. Uh, uh, Wolf. I thought you were a snow fox for a minute. Get out of here! There we are. Right, let's go ahead and check out this NPC combination over here. And he's hoping that it'll actually do the freaking job. Uh, right, who's going to have it? You are. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. We've got the hallowed pylon, the desert pylon, the ocean pylon. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so happy. That's the first ever time I've ever managed to get a snow pylon. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, in terms of the surface biomes, I think we're just about there, actually. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We've got the jungle still to do. Oh, God. It's a clown. <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've seen one of these guys. Oh, man. I always used to love getting the banana rang from these fellas. Oh, man. I feel like I've not had those in years, though. Because those things could stack up to, like, five, right? Hey! We got it! The money trough! Another portable inventory in addition to our void bag at long freaking last. Okay. I just got pummeled into the freaking ground. Thanks, Tortoise. I forgot about those fellas. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, he just came out of nowhere. 940. Don't you freaking... He did it. He done did it again. I can't believe it. Well, the good news is they changed it so the guys who carry your money, they don't despawn anymore. Stop doing the equivalent of teabagging my body, you jerks! What the hell is wrong with these guys? Go on! Get out of here! I ain't having it. I ain't having it. Get wrecked. Give me my money and go and kindly screw yourself. Hello, buddy. You got some more money? Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, let's quick stack that away. There we go. Let's try and be smart about it. Oh, more of my money on the floor. Okay. <laughs> oh, the loose change continues. Right, this is going to be where I set up the little jungle pylon base uh, thing. If I can, that is. Uh, all right, let's do it. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> hey, no. No. Oh, God, I've hesitated too long, guys. <laughs> I'm getting invaded. I'm getting invaded. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're all over the place. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What have I done to deserve this? I'm just trying to colonize your little habitat. Good Lord. Oh, dang it. Oh, God. No. I don't want this, man. Oh, my word. All right. Well, the jungle pylon has definitely been the most, well, should we say deadly? <laughs> I've died twice a day, man. Embarrassing. Oh, no. Make that three times. You son of a turd. Oh, and there's a pinky right there. Ah, oh, dang it. I think he's despawned now. Ah. All right. So as far as I know, the witch doctor is definitely one for the jungle, but you can also have the dryad. So let's go ahead and have these two as the combo for this particular biome. In the meantime, I will... Ah, oh, son of a... No, 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 no. You do not get to do that again. No. Bad turtle. Bad turtle. So I'll tell you what, we'll take a little bit of a break from the pylon building. Maybe we continue it in the next episode. Because for now, what I'd like to do is finally get the gem farm up and going. We've got ourselves the amethyst, topaz, sapphire, emerald, ruby, diamond, and amber gem corns all to be planted. So if we were to dig ourselves out an enormous hole on the ground... We should be able to get this thing going pretty darn quick like. So here we are my friends, level surface. Underneath this level, the gem trees will indeed start growing. So, all we need to do is make a bit of a start. And we need to make seven pods. Hmm, bit of a strange number, seven. We can maybe have, I don't know... Two rows of two, one row of three. Ah, uh, okay, I think I figured it out. We'll have like a ring of eight, obviously seven for the gem corn areas, and then one probably at the top here for storage, and then maybe in the center of the ring, we could have like some sort of gem build. Oh, dude, that'd be so sick. Oh, I'd love that so much. We could go ahead and make a bit of a start if we really wanted to, so maybe we have one right there. We'll have one right there. And one right there. 
and then yeah regardless of light level these things will still grow for any of you guys who are worried that me putting the light down will slow it down it actually doesn't we discovered that in our hardcore series all right guys so there we are we've got the first row set up there's going to be space for five of each of the gem corn trees so there we are we've got the amethyst we've got the topaz we're going to do it from least valuable to most valuable uh, so the bottom row is going to contain the most valuable stuff the ruby the diamond and the amber ah that's slightly awkward we are going to wind up bumping into that minecart rail down there huh ah well doesn't matter <laughs> just have to mine through it i guess oh boy all right well yeah we're making some pretty good progress here and now that we have a palladium pickaxe i mean it's certainly not the quickest pickaxe going but it's way quicker than all of the pre-hard mode ones so yeah so here we are my friends digging out the last of the rooms down here this is the final row let's go ahead and get the separator in and then we will be on our ruddy way. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. Man, we have done a lot of stuff in today's episode. And I gotta tell you, man, I'm feeling pretty good for having gotten it done. I mean, obviously, I know that building episodes probably aren't the most interesting things to watch in the entire world. However, this is all in the name of progress and being able to get resources that we need you know pretty easily as we go along and being able to obviously transport ourselves across the world with absolute ease so yeah all of this has been in the name of progress none of what i'm doing today has been in any way like a waste i would say so we go baby we go let's go and get some torches in down here there we are nice and simple like Okay, let's go ahead and do this down here as well. There we go. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. All right. So this middle section here is going to be for an eventual build. The bottom middle section is going to be for storage. So yeah, we've got ourselves the diamond and the amber. Oh yeah, looking forward to the amber in particular because being able to make crate potions is definitely something that I would consider a worthy thing to do. Uh, Alright, for now though, let's go ahead and get rid of these background walls here. And then, I mean, honestly, the gem corn farm is just about there. We just need to wait for it to grow. In fact, look at that. Some of it already has grown. <laughs> wow. Oh, do you know what? Might it be the background walls that are obstructing this thing? Certainly possible, I guess, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out in a bit. There we go. All background walls are now out. Uh, what is going on up here? Huh? There is... What? There's black background going on. I do not understand. No, like, I really don't understand. <laughs> what the devil? I'm so confused right now. Oh, well. Ah, oh, well, I feel like Minecraft and Terraria are just both games that have you in a state of perpetual confusion. Like, am I the only one? I don't even know. <laughs> hey, there we are. Topaz tree. We've got two ruby trees already. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. All right. Yeah. Not doing too bad, are we, guys? Hey, there's a mimic here. Hey, buddy. How you? Wow, 143 damage. That's actually a pretty high amount. What do you go in and get out of it? Oh, what a surprise. Something else that we already have. Oh, man, we got this thing done. Oh, I'm feeling so good about it. All right, for now, we're going to go and block off this middle area because, as I mentioned, it is going to be for an eventual gem build. Yeah, but for now, oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's fan freaking fantastic. We just need to drop... Oh, what the... Why don't I have any platforms there? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Ah, oh, dang it! I didn't get a single gem corn from that. What the hell? All right, how about this one? Gem corn? How about this one? Gem corn? What? How? Wow, I'm, I'm real confused right about now. Ah, I just came to the realization that uh, we don't actually have one of these bad boys yet. Usually with the safe, what I wind up doing is putting potion ingredients in it. And then it's like a mobile potion brewing station. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. Alright, so we do actually have the ability to make ourselves a bunch more gem corn. So, i tell you what. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up, shall we? So, we've got the emeralds. Oh, wait. I can't get through there. Oh, whoops. whoops a doodle Maybe I should have just left that open, huh? You know what? Let's do that. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. It is actually staggering how dumb I am sometimes. All right, so one, two. Oh, darn it. I messed that one up. Sorry, I wasted a freaking gem for that. 
Ah, oh, pain, pain sounds. All right, there we go. All right, we're just about ready to call this thing done. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have the amber required to make any more amber gem corns, but I'm hoping that we'll get a gem corn or two from the trees that do grow. And once again, no gem corn. What the hell? So to finish off, we've got Jaden Howells with the comment of the day asking, what is your favorite boss to fight? Ooh, that one, I'll be honest, has mostly always been the same one. And that is actually the Destroyer. Because I love just how insanely quick you can take down the Destroyer with the right loadout and the right weapons. Like, it is, it is actually truly bonkers. Like, all the segments, you could just hit them all at the same time with certain weapons. And it's just, it's just disgusting. Like, it is absolutely disgusting just how fast you can take down the Destroyer with the right set of stuffs. Ooh, there's worms all over the place. Yes, I will take the worms. Grasshopper, nah, get out of it. I don't like grasshoppers as bait. They're kind of crummy. I won't lie. Uh, right, there you go. You can get placed in there. And yeah, guys, we're just about done for today's episode. A whole bunch of pylon houses done. And we'll probably get the other ones done in the next episode. The cavern, the forest, and of course the mushroom pylons all still to come. But for now... Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on future content. There we are. Look at that. A gold goldfish. Yeah, don't worry. I saw it there on the creature detector. I saw it. I ain't that silly. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.